What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. Hopefully you guys at home are having a fantastic day. Before we jump into today's video, guys, a huge shout out to Cove for sponsoring today's video. Boom, ladies and gentlemen, right here we've got the brand spanking new Cove Casita Boombox. This thing is perfect for playing tunes and jamming out in larger spaces. This speaker kicks with 60 watts of high capacity, high performance sound. It's super easy, you quick connect Bluetooth and you let it blast. On the boat, at a party, in the shop, while you're doing chores, all the above, this thing is awesome. But what really makes this boombox different is this little button right here. This is the M button, the mode button. There's a standard button, there's an outdoor button, and there's a 3D button. Now you might be wondering, what exactly 3D mean? Well, let me show you. So we're going to start with the standard. So we're going to play a song. Standard, then outdoor, and then 3D. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Up in my car in the giddy up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Up in my car in the giddy up. Back out, get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh, I went on the Is that not crazy? It literally sounds like you're at the concert, folks absolute game changer. The Casita boombox is rechargeable and more than likely it'll last you all stinking day. And not sure if you guys need to take phone calls with something like this, but it does have a built-in microphone. And don't worry about water as it has an IPX6 water resistant rating. Whether it's for you or somebody you know getting them as a gift, if you guys want to try out the brand new Cove Casita boombox, you click the link down below, use code AF67 to get 67% off or more on your Cove purchase. With that being said, huge shout out to Cove for sponsoring today's video. It's brands like them that I partner up with that allow me to do what I do every single day, which is make videos for you guys to enjoy. With that being said, enjoy the rest of today's video. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? We made it to the secret hidden, never before seen, unless you're part of the Beefcake Club. Then you did see one of these videos here, but we are at Banjo's Bunker. Welcome home. Welcome home. This is Banjo's Bunker here, out in the middle of nowhere, somewhere. And this is the duck hunting location. Right through them cottonwoods there is duck paradise. On the other side of this shop is a hole of water filled with invasive flying Asian carp. Yep. In which you're like, hey, we went out in the river, we shot them. They taste like booty cheeks. But some of you guys at home commented saying, well, yeah, they taste like booty cheeks because you cleaned them wrong. They got Y bones, similar to a northern pike. And I'm like, sheesh, I didn't know that. So I Googled it and figured out how to clean them. So we're going to try redeeming ourselves. But we're at Banjo's Cabin this time, not the river. A little These bit easier. Farm race. Farm race. There were from the river. It flooded. Really? So they were your pets, basically, yeah. is what you're telling me. So Banjo's got to go. pet Asian carp that we're going to try getting. But we couldn't come here without giving you guys a full cabin tour. So this is the cabin. And this is where you spend your time shooting your ducks and oh, yeah. doing banjo cabin things. So my mouths go. come on in here and we'll check out the cabin. Oh yeah, sheesh. Who shot the swan up there? That's a big boy. That was me from the backyard. I stepped out there with the gun. Really? Just and you just let her, you just, yeah. you just gave her hell and yeah. threw her up on the wall afterward. Oh, we got the old gaddy hanging out right there. Uh, is that spec? Yep, yep spec. Widgeon? Yep. Woody, another widgeon. More big widgeon guy. Yeah, this he, one was from this year. Buddy loves the old widge. Yeah, I mean, who shot them guys? I did last year. Oh really? Yeah, came in as. Is a that pair. a bluebill? What is They're that? Ringnecks. Ringnecks. Yeah, they came out as a pair. Oh, so a female and male. Look yeah. at that right there. Okay, yeah. and then that thing. Why is that wingspan much larger yeah. than you would? I know, it's crazy. Because it is not. Is it a snow goose? Yeah, it's just like a, a phase. Really. Like, it's a, a young one, what they The thing looks like a freaking crane. Why, is it just me or does it what's, look like a, it what? looks like a freaking crane to me. I don't know, why. it's it's larger than got, I would This expect. one was in, uh, at the farm. Actually. Oh, really? Yeah. Dude, that's a big fluffy guy too. Yeah, remember that was the big one that, like, the last shot. Oh, yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. Oh, and then we got another yeah. greenhead right over there. Buddy's a big shoot him and mount him guy. Yeah. So he's got everything, rolls. look at it. You got catch and cook, ready yeah, to rock and roll. Go. What are you hiding back here, washer and dryer? Yeah. Do all your cleaning needs? You can look at my room, I don't know how clean it is. Nah, you'll be all right. This is where the magic happens? That's what you're telling me? The guns. Oh, sheesh! Yeah. Buddy strap. Don't come breaking into oh, this I got cabin. Every corner. Are you paranoid or something? What's no, this is just the gun room. We Good. Have a gun room. <laughs> but, he's, but he's like, he wakes up and no matter where he flails his arm, he's got a shoddy in his well hand. Done, in case you want to make it rain, you, yeah. got, you got make it rain or just duck's waterfowl. Yeah. Or whatever it might be. It's so. a little 22 to get the raccoons after you trap them, you know? Oh, a little dispatch yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it's yeah, yeah. Banjo's room. What's that? That's, Fancy room. That's the guest room. That's Ooh. the parents' room. Oh. Yeah. The guest room Papa where you guys Banjo. Will stay Papa Banjo. Upstairs. We can show them upstairs. Yeah, I want to see where I'm staying. Oh, we got a bed just for you. 
Really? Look at all these paintings. Man, you got this place decorated. Oh, yeah. My place never looks like this. Our cabin, nothing like it. Oh, sheesh. My gosh, we got a village living up here. Oh, What's yeah. the strat there? Good night. There's a lot of space up here. Oh, hey, how's there it going? Go. That one's you. Oh, nice perfect. Right there. That's fine. I like <laughs> smacking my head. That's not a problem. Yeah. So this is the loft. Yeah. Can you can you kill anything from out here? Oh, you, can you can see the marsh can, a little you can bit. See the marsh, yeah. Yeah, the marsh right over there. Yeah, shooting range, sniper oh, yeah. range. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's pretty much it. We're at Banders Cabin. Figured we'd give you guys a tour. Oh, look at this guy. He's giving it a dangle right up there. Oh, I think it's kind of cool. They left that there when I bought this. Oh, really? So you didn't buy that? I didn't buy that guy. Well, this is what it looks like from up here. Like I said, we're at Banders Cabin. He's got pet flying Asian carp that need to die. We brought bows and we brought, oh, we should have brought pews. Wait, you can't do that, can you? Wait, I don't think you can. I prefer you shooting into water. Oh, uh, yeah. I shouldn't shoot in the water, though. So we brought the, nets. The reflection. Yes, yeah, so we got cast nets, dip nets, blowgun, bow. Hands. Catch these hands. Son. Tank. And the tank. So Banjo, he's got a tank over here that, just like mine, it'll float in the water and you can take it around. So big tractor guy. Yeah. Sheesh. Look at that beaut. You be ripping that thing around or what? Yeah, you got to get the mower on and mow all the, the duck farm. Really? Oh, yeah. Banjo's a big mow guy. And then in here is where he keeps all the fun toys, stuff. All the toys. Oh, yeah. Big two mower guy. Three mower guy. Oh, yeah. Four. And four. You like your grass? Yeah. Four mowers. Yeah. There's My, a lot of grass here. There's a lot of grass. But he's got four mowers. He's got one, two, three, and then he's got the tractor one. And he's got a little ranger back there and all his decoys and whatnot. So there's your banjo cabin tour, in case you guys wanted it. This is what we're taking. So we got to load up with all the gear and figure out how we're going to shoot. I think, should we start with bow? Should we start with blowgun? You're a big blow guy. I saw what you did to them bullfrogs. That's one thing we hadn't done with the, the yeah. Asian carpet. Do you, think it, do you think it'll go through? He's got the PSI behind them yeah, lips, son. Blow? It just. <laughs> I, we'll <laughs> I, I think we should try it. Same thing. I could hold back the bow, banjo's driver, and then you shoot, you blow. You big blow guy. And see, because if you could it. blow gun him, how would you bring him in though? Them suckers can freaking swim. Yeah. Like I barely bring them in with the bow. It might work, it might not, but we're gonna take everything out of my truck, load it into the tank, and we'll get some waders on. So I didn't bring any socks. Just realized that. I got socks. You got socks? You want some socks? I, I would take some socks. Right. I mean, if I'm wearing boots and waders, I feel like not socks, it wouldn't end up too great. So we're gonna take everything out of here, load it up in the tank, and hopefully get a catch clean cook out of a carpet, and hopefully clean it the correct way. No bones. If you guys missed the first video, we went out to the river, we shot them, we ate them, and it was literally like taking a bite out of a rib cage. I didn't clean them properly. I guess there's techniques. We'll have to Google it. We've got Banjo's kitchen to destroy instead of my kitchen this time. So, anyways, you guys stay tuned. You excited? Oh yeah. Do you find me socks? Yeah, you want them right now? No, I no, no. I, in case yeah, I don't need I them now. Put them in here. Put oh, okay. There. I mean, how deep is it? I can't stand. Do you tell me? I mean, you can stand. You won't drop. Well, I'll be. Well, will be up to my nipples or not? Yeah, it'll be up to your nuts. Fine with me. It might be up to your nipples in some spots. So we'll see. <laughs> All right, we're jumping in, folks. We are headed to. This is your teal hunting pond. Yeah. You ever kill big ducks here? No, just only. Or you don't even try. Uh, don't really try. Really? Big teal guy. Yeah. All right, well, let's head to the pond and see what we find. I seen a little fish. He was swimming. All right, I'll try the bow first. Let's get this guy going through. This way. Trapper Jay told me there's bullheads in here. Really? Yeah. But other than that, it's pretty much just carp. Woo, she's sharp, boys. We're ready. Yeah! Here we go, old son. Oh, they're swimming. They're swimming. Oh, we're pushing them, boys. Ah! 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 All right, kill it, kill it. See if they'll jump right here. They're right in here somewhere. They usually go to that corner, and that's where okay. I can punch. Okay, all right. Ready? Yeah, do you see that guy jump? Yeah. Sheesh! Oh, look at him out there. Oh, look at him. Oh God. Come on, one more, give me one more. Rip, rip, I missed. Oh my gosh. We're everywhere. Bruh, I don't know what to do with my hands. Oh! Oh, my shoulders are gonna get fried. Oh, they're they're getting it back there. Back there again. Oh golly. Hang on. Oh, I can see. Oh, oh god! Oh, oh! Oh! Hang on, hold up right here. Right here. You're right there. Just gonna oh, hit the oh, this is intense. For a second, I could see him swimming. Hang on, there's some right here. If I could see him, it would be easier. Oh yeah, it's muddy water. All right, where the heck? I just need to see one tail. All right, you ready? Yeah, give her hell. Way? Give her hell. I got him! 
I got no him! Way. I got him! I got him! RKO'd! RKO'd! Freaking rip! Hell How you doing, yeah. Junior? Oh, oh, oh! Hey, hey! You settle down, Dougie. Right through the gills. Shit! Yeah! Oh! No. Rip! You think he'll float up? He's definitely gonna die, right? What He's the dying. hell? I didn't think he'd come off. He looked like he was hooked pretty good. Oh no. Well, I guess we gotta that's, get, that's get practice. do it again. That's practice. He might come up. You can see like mud right there where he's at. I don't know. Oh, there he is. Did you get him? Get him? Oh, we got his ass, son. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Let's go, buddy. Let's freaking go. Double shot this one. Shoo! Let's go, Junior. That is him, too. Yeah, you can tell that's him. <laughs> we got him, nice. baby. All right, let's try not to lose this guy. Yeah, throw him in the net or something. That went quick, boys. Yeah, in the net you go, boy. There we go. Hey, we got lunch, all right? Yeah. You think you could blow him, Zach? I try. I say you should try it. Right. Shoo! We got one down, boys. He almost got away from us. Yeah. I hit him with the old one-two punch. I think Zach's gonna give her the old blow. Is rolling? It's not rolling yet. It is now. So you're thinking you want to stand up here? You just want to swap spots? Yeah. Make a little quick. Whoa. Whoa. Easy. Whoa. Hey, Junior. Who's rocking the boat? Hey, uh, sheesh. Oh my gosh, I feel like we're in flip. <laughs> you, you got it, now you got it. Why now, is it doing this you got, now, you, doing this you, 10 minutes? Now you got it. All right, now easy. you got it. I'm gonna bust my ass. Yeah, right, you got it. All right, so yes, get her cock locked and ready to rock. Wow. <laughs> I, I got my sea legs now, don't worry. I, don't think I feel like blowing is not going to be harder because I have to hold it, the string you back. Really and my shoulders are just yeah. toast in general, so it, just, no. it makes it hard. You just have to have your um, cheeks ready to go and... <laughs> what? Who's ro I'm standing still. Who's rocking the boat? I'm not moving. You want me to go where it's not floating? You go over wherever you want to go. I'm just here for moral support. All right, we're ready. You ready? Don't dart anyone in the neck. Uh, oh God, they're getting it. Oh golly. I say send her right where I shot that last one. I think that's where they're all grouped up. Yeah, yeah. Way. Straight to the weast. Oh, did you get him? No, no. Oh, I was gonna say, yo. This has gotta be where they're at. I'm, I'm looking to see him if we can see him in the water. Cause then you could just, yeah. You could just shoot them when they're not even flying, make it a little easier. There's a lot of that little fry though. Whatever them are, you got a bunch more of them coming. Yeah. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. There's a bunch of them. Go that way or? Yeah, just go do a loop to the right. I feel like there's a bunch still sitting right in, in here. Oh, 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 man down. No, oh. man down. Oh, 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 you found him. You found him, yeah. son. Shit. Like we about caught that one. You old net, you would have got him. He jumped up on the deck. Once he gets one, I think I'm going to take the net and, and just, just, just scoop. You just keep grabbing. Or right. just keep driving I'll drive you and you scoop. Scooping. Zach's going to get one. Though. How's that mud water taste? Pretty good. Yeah. That, that builds your immune system. That actually is more resistant to COVID than the vaccine I heard. Ready? Go for it. Yeah. Oh, they're getting it over there. Oh, rip. You were close on that one, I feel like. Dude, they're just getting it. They love to jump. To go back. It's hard to tell where they're at. I know. They keep moving. You don't see them until you see them. That's what I was thinking. Maybe you run it and stop. Stop right And then that might give you a chance yeah. to like yeah. assess the situation. We'll go over there. All right. Give her up. Stop right here. Oh. It's all under the water. Did you see one? Yeah. Rip. That one was close to me. It jumped right next. Do you think to me. if you put it in neutral and rabbit, do they jump? Now to keep maybe Zach a little steadier. Ready? Yep. Nah. They're smarter than we think. Yeah. All right, give her help. Oh. Sheesh! Oh! Oh! He's up on the shore. Is he still up there? Yeah. Zach, it's a perfect opportunity. You just let him yeah. eat right here. He's sitting up on the shore. He's in the weeds, boys. Oh, oh great. Oh. Thank you, guys. Oh, rip. Rip. That was the one, too. Oh, look, he's still getting it, too. He's showing off now. He's out of the water. The blow gun's tough. Yeah. These little suckers are fast. All right, give her help. I think they're getting smart. I know. I think they they might be on to us now. Or something. I don't know. 
looks like they might be on us. What do you think? Yeah, they might they, be. they know the guy that can blow us in town, so they're scared. I don't think it's, it's harder than it looks. Yeah. Oh yeah. There's not like, much time. There's, when you pull them back, yeah. I gotta. Oh, true. That's true. You can't hold your breath that right, long. Let's give the net a shot for a little bit. You think it's just drive around and net them? Sure. All right. I'll drive you net. All right. Sure. All right. Let's do it. All right. Banjo's on net duty. I'm on drive duty. Let's get them. Boys, ready? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that guy scared me many, many times. Sheesh, he landed himself up on the deck here. And Banjo got the old swoop. Oh yeah, we eating good tonight, boys. Oh yeah. Sheesh. Oh yeah, with the old net for the dub. Look, you can just see the grease, like. Oh yeah, the he's slime. He's, that's a nasty little sucker. Yeah. There's <clears> a lot <throat> of them in here. Yeah, there's a whole bunch. You got a whole bunch of them in here. Yeah. Well, we're eating good now. We got two of them. I think we should give them a break because I feel like they're getting less and oh, less yeah. and less. So what we're gonna do? Give them a little break. How big is this section right here? Ten acres. And then so how big is the other? Hunt. How's the other section? Uh, 20? like 20, 25. So there's like a this is like ten acres. It's like his teal hunting spot. And then there's like a big duck spot. You know, bigger marsh where he's got actual blinds put out. Well, I guess there's one blind. There's one blind here. here, yeah. But we'll go on the other side and we'll show you the blinds, kind of the layout and whatnot. Let these carp get a rest and hopefully come back and smack a few more. You guys stay tuned. All right, so we're gonna figure we're already right here. Let's show you the blind. So this is blind number one. We were just right on this other side here. This is the ten acre. Yeah. So, this so you, will be you all flooded. You've been mowing that grass. Yeah, and I'll flood it about a little less than knee high. Knee high. Yeah. That way the ducks can land, do their little dealio and whatnot. So he's just mowed all. This. So this is just more teal than anything. This is the old blind. Right? Oh, shit. Might be a snake or two in there. Hey, that's fine. Oh, look at the old bullfrog down there. See that oh, little yeah. guy? Yeah. Sheesh. Yeah. So yeah, this would be a good place for just five person blind. Not too bad. Five six people. Yeah. These flip downs. You can actually once this grass is gone, you can see here so you don't have to like peep your head out like oh that, yeah. a little sneak attack yeah. action so nice. one blind here in this little 10 acre little pool and then on the other side of these trees is the bigger one so let's go over there yeah we made it so this is the big pond the 20 acre ish pond this is the biggest above ground blind right yes. this guy right here yep. so what's funny is i actually filmed the video with banjo here prior to banjo even owning this place no idea i sh i know what the thumbnail is i don't it's know like what the title is yeah it was like a 2018 video i'm pretty sure this is the old oh, about died right there this is the old above ground blind yep. look at that guy yeah. you got any critters living in here it's like snakes about to come out and bite my ass oh yeah i take a nice this one we hunting the most and this is one i take nice. for sure yeah. yeah you got a little cook station anywhere oh yeah we usually right have a cooker right, right down in there it's got a heaters. heater yeah first time we came here we hunted yeah. this one and then the second day we hunted in the far south west one is it south southwest southwest big blind number one above ground blind it's like tucked into this little tree pocket here you see all these trees hanging out and so then you've got another one but it's a pit blind right down yonder yeah we made it to the pit blind folks Oh, that was right on the gooch. So this guy is in the ground. Same thing where you can see, you got the little viewer right in there. And I remember, yeah, we were putting this thing on last. Yeah. Last right there, yeah, we put so we put all that on last. It stays up more like that. Gotcha. But. And there's your kill hole. Yep, and that's where it actually pumps the water too. So you oh, the little the little mound of yeah. flowers or whatever. Yeah. He floods it and then basically turns into a big lake. Right now it's obviously dry because it's off season. So flip a switch, water shoots out of there, fills the pool up, bang bang. You got one more blind? Yeah, one more. It's hidden. You can't even see. I was it gonna right say now. we're in the. I can see it. Uh, I think it's like straight across from us. Alright, we'll see you guys there. That's it. I found her. Oh yeah, we found it, son. Sheesh. Boom! One more blind, and that's a four. Yeah, it's a four man. Four man blind. Yep. So four man blind, pit blind, big blind, other pond. That's basically the tur, the duck tur around this little area here. Hopefully coming up duck season, get some water in here, and it'll be raining birds. Hopefully. Now that the carp have had some time to rest, let's go back and get one more for lunch. You think if you drove, you'd push them to me? I could drive. Try the old one too. Yeah. Do like a loop and see if you get him to swim this way, okay. and I'll stand here and try to shoot him. Okay. Banjo's going to the other side. He's going to try herding them for me like cattle. I'm going to try pushing them one side, bring them to me. We'll be nice and quiet, and then whoosh, blinded by the light. Don't shoot Banjo. 
real. Let's try that. Well, that didn't work. What the hell? Where'd they all go? Oh. Freaking rip. You wanna walk that bank? Yeah, I'll walk around. You suckers go extinct or what? Gonna let one rip. I think they went extinct. And he ran them over and killed them all. Oh my gosh, that was right over him. That was close. That was super, super, super close. Freaking rip. Oh, right there on top, right there on top. Oh, a little left, a little left. We're seeing a bunch now. These suckers are getting smart. They know what the deal is here. I'm waiting to see if any of them surface right here. Cause I mean, I'm seeing some activity. Yeah, I do one more. Yeah, I do one more. Oh, right here, right here, right here on the Hang on, on the organ. Oh, I don't want to shoot the tank. Hang out for a second. We're seeing a hole. Is it a hole head or what is that? Oh my gosh. I say just hang out for a second. They're swimming everywhere. What was that? I don't know. It might have been a grass cart. There's one right there. Hold one right here, Andrew. Oh, shot right over. There's a little one right there. They're small. Oh, that, that was, was far. It's a far shot. Son of a gun. I got him. I got him. I don't know what it is, but I got him. He gone. Oh, hey, where are you going, Junior? Oh, wow. That's big. Woo! Yes, sir. Well, that's not even a nation cart. Common cart? Yeah. We can compare the two yeah, now. Compare Look at that. Shee! Blind by the light. Well, we got three. I'd say that's enough. Let's go get to cooking. Shee! We made it inside, ladies and gentlemen. This is all we're left with. I tried as hard as I could to fillet it, to avoid the Y bone. This is what we're left, I mean, it looks like Banjo had his way with a bunch of little bluegill. Really? Isn't that right? Something That's pretty like much that. what that looks like. Yeah. I would say 98% of all this meat is boneless. So it'll give us a legitimate shot at eating carp and seeing if it's good. What we've got is some seasoned batter. We don't go anywhere without this guy. This is Duck's Buffalo. We're gonna give her some hell here. That'll help spice things up a little bit. And we're not gonna be shy about it. Got about a third of a bottle in there. This should make things pretty spicy. So we're gonna go ahead and mix this up. Woo! We're just frying in this little guy right here, just a little pot. I'm guessing this meat's gonna get lost in here. I'm guessing I'm not gonna be able to find all the pieces. Actually, I got a little spoon thing we could almost sift, like a little sifter. You think that would work for sifting? Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 that'd work for sifting. So I'm gonna go ahead and just toss all of these baby fillets. I mean, that's not a bad one, but I mean, the fish we caught were actually pretty good size. You really gotta catch some megas if you're gonna get a lot, a lot of meat out of it. But honestly, it'll make a nice little plateful. Go ahead and do that. Leave a little bit of air. We yeah, are all battered up. What do you think? We should load this sucker up. See, I could actually do, oh, I'm about to make a mess. Um, set that plate over here. We'll load them up. You don't want to put them in super slow one by one because then one will be done before the other. These are literally going to cook in three seconds. You can see the light through it. Look at that. Paper thin, but they might be pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and get all these dusted off onto a plate and ready to go. It's going to remind me of like little crappie and bluegill fillets. I mean, that's pretty much what these are. They're not the big, thick, chunky nuggies. They're thin little fillets and hopefully boneless fillets at that. I mean, look at this guy. What's the strap there? Not a whole lot going on there. If you guys know of a way, I mean, I Googled it, I YouTubed it. How do you fillet an Asian carp? And I did it how they said. They caught much larger fish than we did. I think that's part of the problem. Now that you're looking at this, that's not a bad amount of fish. No. Granted, we caught three good sized fish that should have had a lot yeah. more meat, but like for the sake of being able to enjoy the harvest and it's all boneless, I feel like it's not that bad. Anyways, let's get all, ooh, what's going on here? Ooh yeah, she's getting hot. She's getting warm. Oh, we get them all? Did we get them all? They good. I think we got them all. All right, boys, here we go. Let's try one. Oh yeah, yeah, they're going quick. They're going very, very fast. Super, super sonic flash frying. Ooh, big daddy. I would say it's hot. Yeah, she's getting it. She is getting it. I'm gonna keep a couple just in case I botch this batch. Once they start to flow, they're good to go. Bro, they're done already. That's crazy. That was flash frying. Oh yeah. 
Wow, I would say the oil was hot. I'm really glad I brought this little spoon thing too. Sheesh. That was the quickest fish fry oh, I, yeah. I ever darn did see. So what we're gonna do is maybe let this oil cool off and then fry the rest just in case. I would think they're done. I mean, they're for so. how skinny they are, thin they are. Should be good to go. So we'll let them cool off and let you guys know how they taste. Shoo! We let the oil cool off a little bit. They turned out a little bit more golden and a little less crispy, but I think our original batch just cooled off. Look at these little things. It's almost like little potato chips. Ooh, pretty flaky. I didn't see any bones. No bones yet. That might be a deal. That oh, might be. Wow. The other thing is we didn't put any red meat in it, which I know is like usually fishy, because we just took like the outsides. That buffalo, mm. nice and spicy. Dude, it is spicy. This is super spicy, this is good. Oh yeah. You never know this isn't bluegill. Next time we do this, we gotta find somebody who likes fish and tell them it's bluegill. I bet they won't say anything. That slaps. That's probably the best carp I've ever eaten. Oh yeah. By far. There's no just, bones. Just flaky. Again, it's a little amount of meat for a lot of fish. I mean, these are three kager fish. I mean, those fish were probably five pounds each. So 15 pounds of fish gives you about a third of a pound of meat. It's pretty good. What's left are these little golden crispies. Farm raised mm -hmm. carp is the way to go. Mm -hmm. Dude, there's no way you would know that's carp. No. You gotta get in there. No. I'm digging the, the thin strips for some reason. Oh, like, yeah. I'm digging it. I feel like it's- And it's a thin batter it's, too. Yeah. That's good. That is. It's like the batter to fish ratio yeah. is so, cause normally it's just like a chunk of fish with a thin coat of batter. It's like, yeah. these are almost just like little chips. Going in for your second, your hot ones. Ooh, no, those are gonna be toasty. Are they less crispy? Or no, it's about the same. A little I, less I, knew, I knew the oil was, so was the oil was less hot. Cause the oil was getting it on that first batch. It might be better, I don't know. You, you like it better? It tastes really good. Yeah, might be a little bit better. The oil got a hair a hot. done. A little hair hot on here. I don't know, it's good though. Dude, if you guys are shooting fish, catching fish, carp, don't throw them out. Try it. You two, how to fillet and get the Y bones out. I didn't do a very good job at it. I'm sure there's better ways of doing it. Basically fillet around the Y bone, like the top and bottom strip of the fillet, and you're left with these little teeny little strips, but they are 100% boneless. Oh, yeah. I, haven't, I haven't found a bone yet. Mm. Yeah, no bones. Mm. That was a deal. I well, an eight out of 10. I will, yeah, eight out of 10. That's probably the best carp we've ever, ever made, by Cat, far. Catfish is up here. Mm -hmm. Carp's right there. Nothing about that screams that was a carp or anything. No. It just tastes like really good fish. Try the recipe, folks. Season flour, throw some duck's buffalo in it, and you'll be good to go. Hopefully you guys at home enjoyed today's video. We'll catch you on the next one, and peace.